hey guys very good morning to all of you welcome to the video number 469 my name is Ajay Pramar and today I'm going to talk about couple of questions which uh, you may come across uh, you may face if you are appearing for your VBA interview and uh, uh, so as you know that if, if you if you are not new to the channel we have already got around 40 plus videos on the uh, you know the interviews uh, uh, I have uh, categorically actually divided uh, you know this Excel VBA action access uh, the playlist interview questions playlist into four subjects excel excel vba access and access vpa if you're watching the channel for the first time first of all very warm welcome to all of you and uh, i hope that you will not be disappointed uh, while watching my any of the videos because um, it's it's always you know uh, on this channel we we always try to try to give you the education i always try to do my best not to just for the sake of you know getting the clicks uh, i try to explain the things i try to talk on the very relevant very important topics right so welcome all of you um, this is the channel name guys if you're just uh, new to the channel youtube.com slash c slash ajay kumar pramar and before i go further i want to take a pause and i want to actually thank you for a couple of things uh, the first thank you is that uh, this month, this month, as as you know that I, I keep on sharing my you know these uh, the numbers of my channel uh, whenever I think that that's something to share it uh, because if we have achieved something then I think it's because of you. Um, for the first time I've been running this channel from the last two years and I'm getting the maximum number of sub sub subscribers you know in this month and I think it is going to touch almost 500 plus numbers right. I already have uh, got 400 and 20 or 30 subscribers so far it may not be a big number for for uh, for you know uh, for for others but for for me it's a big number because i never actually crossed 400 target right so this is going to be 500 this month thank you thank you thank you so much for this it's indeed a very very great uh, response i'm getting on the channel and um, also the number of likes uh, i'm getting the maximum number of likes i think this this month uh, we're going to cross 450 likes and this is indeed a great achievement right so guys uh, again as I always say that uh, that the channel is divided into four categories. You can go to the playlist, and I have designed all these playlists in a very systematic way. And sometimes I still get the people, you know, the, they they write me that uh, how to start the training. And I think they they haven't watched my recent videos. Uh, if you are watching my recent videos, you see that I always share the playlist link with you. Now these are all the 45 playlists which are divided into four categories: Excel, Excel VBA, Access, and Access VBA. Right? On every subject, we are trying to upload the videos. And very soon, I'm going to start. The uh, Excel VBA web scrapping also because I got a lot of requests. People want to know that what is web scrapping and how or people who have the idea they, they want to learn that you know how to basically import the data from the web right. So we will talk about that definitely and I will not actually talk just you know the code I will explain it in a proper way as usual right I always try to do that so wait for some time and the wait is going to be worth that I can promise to you uh, so these are all the playlist guys this is the sequence you follow the sequence and I'm sure you will get the great help these are all the playlist names and uh, I have as you can see this is for Excel VBA this is for Excel this is for access and this is for access VBA right now one more information I want to give you I recently came to know that uh, uh, YouTube has done some changes in their policy their rules uh, now what happens when you go to any of the youtuber you know the front page where you actually see this link called subscribe uh, if you want to get all the notifications then you need to click on this bell bell icon right when you click there you will get all the notifications so I also did that uh, the channels which I have subscribed so that I can receive all the notifications uh, so you make sure that you also click on this when you're going to watch my video right so that you can have all the notifications I guess if you're not going to touch that you may not receive all the notifications right the emails you know which you get the information when I upload the new videos so this is pause the video and uh, just take have a look here and you can write it down all these playlists right uh, now I'm going to uh, talk about today in this uh, video uh, these these basically five questions how will you close all the workbooks how will you close specific workbook how will you create a copy of same workbook but in different location how will you delete the specific file and how will you delete specific file in a folder right so these are the five wonderful uh, workbook commands which every coder is supposed to know whether you are at the beginner level or you are at the extreme level you are supposed to know these things right now uh, because I talked about this you know the playlist called Excel VBA access interview questions so this is the access VB into a question series right and I'm sorry I was wrong actually I was telling you 40 plus it's almost like 50 videos right so I 
<laughs> I didn't actually get the chance to look at this. So we have got 50 videos on Excel, VBA, and access. You know uh, these um, the, the, the topics. And so let me just click on click here. Now, as you can see here, guys, so we have got a lot of questions here, right? So VBA interview question, exercise on indirect, interview question, exercise on in indirect. So this is going to be the Excel. This is going to be the VBA, right? The VBA interview question by Ref and by well. This is the video where I got number of clicks. Very, very, uh, you know, popular. This one of my videos. You can go and check that out. Uh, questions for your Excel interview, VBA interview on user form, uh, you know, VBA interview questions part one, VBA interview questions, difference between function and subroutine. You know, there are a lot of stuff, right? Right? So you can go through all these videos and I'm sure if you're somebody who is preparing for the interview then this, this is the best place to go and search you know all these fantastic uh, the videos right. So now let's quickly start this um, uh, I, I want to without wasting the time now I quickly want to come on this topic. So first of all I want to uh, you know write the code there how will you close all the workbooks. So I just go and what I do is I just go and save this file first of all. Uh, because when you say that you want to close all the workbooks so let's say I'm going to open let's say guys I'm gonna open a couple of workbooks in front of you for example I just open this Aji test and this you know the collection list so let me just open all these workbooks right so these are the two uh, the workbooks I have opened in front of you right now what we want to do is when we go to the developer tab and uh, we're going to make the macro and in the macro I'm simply going to talk about this how to close you know all these workbooks so let's write the code here okay it's a very small code actually so let's say question number one so this is my question number one now I want to close all the workbooks so you know what I'm going to do I'm going to write here for this uh, the form uh, the workbooks dot close right so when I'm going to run this let's see what's gonna happen okay before I do that I simply want to save this code so let me save the code okay now I want to run this let's see guys what's gonna happen right now I'm just going to you see run this and you see that everything is gone guys there's no Excel workbook which is open this is totally blank this is just blank right and if you write application dot quit you know what happens this even Excel layout will go it will disappear so let me just go back and open that playlist because I have saved the changes so workbook dot close what do you understand by that workbooks dot close it's 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 a very powerful code and it it allows your this all the excel workbooks you know uh, the, to, to get closed in just seconds so remember that this is also going to be uh, negative you know it can go against uh, against you if, if you just not using it wisely right because of the reason that this is also going to close this file from where you're running the macro so make sure you use this when you actually want to close everything including the workbook from where you're running the macro right now I also want to tell you one thing so if you just go and you see that you write here application dot quit right now I'm gonna write this application dot quit right and at the same time let me just open one more workbook so let's say this is my another you know workbook I have opened this now let's go back to this and let's run the code here so I have got two workbooks in front of you opened one is the playlist and the another one is as a test now guys I'm just going to run this see what's gonna happen want to save your changes to the playlist dot xlsm well yes I want to save the changes because I have just written the line so let me just cancel that let me just cancel that and let me just uh, end the macro and first of all let me save that so I go here and click on the save okay all right so I saved it forget about that pop-up that's something my documents uh, inspector have to change the settings there now we have the two workbooks and I'm just gonna hit here let me see that let me show you this can you see that now you know what I wanted to tell you there's no change why there's no change because you're still getting these you know this layout of this excel template the reason is because once your you have your workbook closed the next line is not going to work right i'm sharing this because some uh, sometime back somebody reached out to me and they said that what's wrong with this code why all the applications are not quitting properly i mean why i still see the blank template it's because of the reason that when you close the workbook obviously this workbook is also going to close the workbook from where you are running the macro and if you are close the workbook from where you're running the macro how this line is going to run because by that time you know your excel would have been closed isn't it but if you just go and cut this line and I'm gonna put it here let me put it here okay now let me save this I save this 
and I'm going to run this. Now before I run this, I again want to let's say open another Excel workbook which is as a dot test, as a test, right? Dot XLS. Okay, there we go. So now we have the two files, and I'm just going to let me just minimize it, and I'm just going to hit here. Let's run this code. All right, there we go. Do you want to save the changes? Oh, well, I again have to cancel this. Let's just, I have to actually save this. Okay, saved. Now let's go and run this. I'm running this, and you see that everything is gone right application dot quit this is also the code you can write it so now you you're getting the point you're understanding the difference between application dot quit and the workbooks dot close so when you close the workbooks workbooks gets closed but there is a template you know the blank template of the excel you know that's the layout that that will remain there and sometimes it people get irritated by that because ultimately they will have to close that as well so maybe i can just comment this line let's not run this line i just save this and you know what I'm going to do is I just simply open another file. Let's say again I go and open it. I want to show you whether you really need that workbooks dot close command if you're writing application dot quit. So I just go and run this now. You see that guys? So you don't have to write it. Okay. Both the commands are good. If I give you this test and you show me application dot quit, I'll give you five out of five. And if somebody is going to use that workbooks dot close, I still gave five out of five because ultimately the workbooks are getting closed, right? So this is something I wanted to tell you. I hope you're enjoying this tip. Now let's talk about the another thing. Now what is the next question? So the next question actually is how will you close a specific workbook? Well, if you have to close a specific workbook, you know, there are a lot of ways of doing it. Now, for example, now I just comment this line um, or maybe uh, we can just go and write this in a, another, you know, the macro so let's go and write the sub question number two so there are two ways of writing it one is first you get that workbook open or activate it and that you know you get that closed for example let's say if i just go and um, open this again as a test let's say your code is going to open this i hope you know the command workbooks dot open to open the file uh, so let's say i just go and say that workbooks and then i just write the name as a test dot xlsx and then i'm just going to activate it right now once that becomes activated once that workbook gets activated you can write there active workbook dot close okay and in the brackets you can write whether you want to save the changes or not because if you are going to work something if you're doing some changes in the as a test file then naturally it is going to ask you do you want to save the changes now would you like that prompt or not if you want leave this part if you don't want and if you want that it should save the changes right here true or otherwise if you don't want to save the changes just right there false okay so so let me now run this and you're gonna see that so now look at this uh, the first I go to the playlist that's my uh, the workbook from where I'm gonna run the macro so I run this and you see that uh, you know this window is activated the workbook is activated I'm going to close it and this is going to close it perfect right so that's how you can close this workbook now what is another way well I just can I can also copy this uh, let me just copy this uh, this command which is simply to you know I let me just copy this command and I just copy this paste it here and I write here close okay now let me just comment these two lines so I'm gonna run it again so let's open that okay so yeah so we got the file opened and I go back to the, this workbook let me just minimize this all right, so let's run this. Let's have a look here. You see that my window is playlist.xlsm. The moment I'm gonna run this, you see that the file is also closed. So the, uh, as such, there's no need to activate it. You do the active, you know, activation only when you want to do something. Maybe you want to copy the data from there, you know, a sort of that stuff. But if you don't want to do anything, you can close this in this way, right? Both the options are correct, guys. Okay, so let's go to quickly to the next question. How will you create a copy of the same workbook in different location? Well, let's say this is my playlist and I want to create a copy of it, right? So how you how you can do that? So this is going to be my question number three. Now, so this is my this workbook as you must be knowing it. So you can also write here this workbook dot save as and then you can get the path D drive. Let's in the D drive, I want to just save this as ajay.xlsxm right xlsm so if this is something i i do then what happens the workbook this file is right now saved on my desktop but the moment i just going to save it then what happens this is going to be saved with the 
name called ajay.xlsm on my t drive so that's how you can do that and then later also you can i mean close it you just need to write there this workbook dot close so you just write it close right and you can see that true i'm not going to close this but i'm just telling you right so let's quickly run this line so this line is going to run now this is when i always press save you know this uh, document personal information comes but you may not see this option so this is not this has nothing to do with the vba now i don't want to close this so i just go and run this macro like this okay so let's go to my this d drive and i'll show you if we have got that file the same file with that name so i go to my document uh, sorry it's going to be on my d drive so here i go in the d drive and i think the file is here you can see here this is the file right ajay.xlsm right it shows read only obviously because i have opened this file so this is how you can actually create the copy right so this is uh, again you can use this uh, this is a very simple command save as right and uh, now let's go to the next question so the next question is that uh, how will you close or uh, how, how will you delete a specific file guys so let's say i want to delete something sort of uh, maybe let's say i want to delete this rnk file dot xlsm you know it's on my desktop so how are you going to do that it's very simple i just go to the property and let's capture actually the the path of this file so click on the properties and uh, go to the security and just copy the path from there right that's a shortcut so now here what you're going to do is let me just go and create a question number four here for you so question number four all right so now what i'm going to do is i simply write here kill okay kill this file that's how we write it right so you can be a killer coder isn't it by knowing all these commands today I bet so let's run this and let's have a look and where's my text that file so it's my file is there make sure it should not be open otherwise you're gonna have the problem because you can't you know delete the file kill the file if it is open right by the way kill is a very very dangerous word isn't it mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a this is not a programming so we're gonna run this let's go and kill this and let me say that delete that i i don't know why i don't like pronouncing it as a kill but you know that's how it works and there we go and you see that how beautifully it is deleted isn't it fantastic guys right so that's a one single command kill the bell all right so let's go to the last question how will you delete specific file in a folder now what if you have a folder and there you have so many files then what you want to do that's very interesting now now suppose this is my file in the d drive and i want to let's say delete this budget.xlsx right now you know what actually guys you can also go and simply say that d drive and give the complete path and the file is going to be killed it's not that but you know just in case if you if you want to delete the files which contains budget word for example then what you, what you're gonna do because then you have to delete this as well and the, this as well i know that you can write two kill statements right that's okay but you never know in the future if you have more you know these the items then what you're gonna do i mean i'm talking about the loop so we can quickly run a loop so for that what you're gonna do is so question number five we will say that for each file in the folder if the file contains budget word just kill that this is what we need to do right now to do that you have to use the tools and the reference there is a library which you have to use and the library is uh, the name of the library is microsoft scripting runtime so i just they are all alphabetically sorted so just find out where is your microsoft scripting runtime and there we go just make sure you should have this library on and once you do that let's go and write this so i'm just going to say that dim fso as fso is my own object created and i'm just going to write scripting this is how you write and file system object this is your library which we always use whenever we want to work when when, when we work with the uh, you know n number of the files in the folder this is this library actually is designed for this purpose so this is how you write it and if you're new to this don't worry about it just go and check the playlist called excel file handling 
if I just show you here in my training this uh, there must be some playlist called Excel VB file handling go there and start watching all the videos right you will understand it's a very very powerful library so now uh, what we're going to do is so I, I define my folder as um, scripting uh, scripting dot folder and this is how we define a folder so my folder has to be equal to episode episode is a as you as as I told you that this is your object which you created which refers to the scripting file system object library so here we have a method called get folder so where is your folder so my folder actually is in the D drive isn't it so mm. that's how you write it now then my file as scripting dot file right so now I'm going to run the loop for each my file in my folder dot files right this is how you write guys I explain this entire code in my those videos so now what I will do is if my file if my file contains you use the like operator and you just write here star and then add and then you can write here the budget word right make sure that you write the same spellings it's, it's a key sensitive actually the key sensitivity part is there in the VBA when you write anything in the if condition right and that's this is something I don't like about the VBA I don't know why uh, they have missed out or what part I found this that in Excel VBA if is case sensitive however if you go and write the if functions in the access VBA there's nothing like that right and which actually eventually should be the uh, you know the uh, the real scenario because uh, VBA Excel is all you know that we don't have that key sensitivity issue but I don't know why in the if we have this sort of problem but anyways um, so I write here budget so budget is in my small letter so I just go and write um, and and just put that in in this language so any file which contains budget has to we have to say goodbye to it so we write the star and the star after budget before budget so that it can actually be used as a contain because when you write star it means it can hold n number of characters so I'm saying before budget anything can come after budget anything can come and that's how we make it actually you know we may make it contain word right then you have to kill so what you have to kill well whatever the file is there so just right there my file dot, dot name and then if it is not the case then simply say end if and there we go that's it so I think we are done with this code this is a very small code very powerful code but indeed so we just go and I just use the backspace and this is your basically your you know this the loop so let's go and run this guys okay there we go so what is the first file name well the first file name is uh, it uh, so I have to do one thing instead of my file because my file shows me the drive also so I don't need that I just need the name you know we don't really bother about the drive because we have already defined that my folder is in the my folder is D drive and the loop is going to loop through all these files in the D drive so we just interested in knowing the file this is A so obviously we'll go in the else okay what about the next it's Ajay so again it will go in the else and then B then budget okay there we go now you can see that it's gonna kill that file so have a look here this is good. this should be removed all right file not found that's very interesting so what what's wrong here so let me just click on the debug so I want to see that what's wrong with this okay so I think I got the problem the problem is actually the file name is coming but that you know you have to actually give the uh, the drive also the name of the drive so uh, what we can do is we can simply prefix folder with this you know like in this way uh, because I know my folder is D drive so I can use the folder like this and let me see that now the folder is D drive and this, this is my file name so when when these two are going to be concatenated it's it should be D drive backslash and the budget dot xlsx let me run this all right there we go i got it and you see that the file is gone so let me just quickly run this again the another file which is budget one and now you see that guys it is also removed so let's just go quickly and run this because i know that nothing is going to be deleted now and there we go the macro finishes right so that's it for now guys i'm not going to take much of the time just two things to request that you know share this channel with uh, with all those people who want to learn excel excel vba access and access vba let's make it a big big time success and if you have any questions you can all as always you can leave your comments questions on the comment section and don't forget to 
subscribe to the channel i'll see you soon with some more exciting stuff very soon and till then you take care of yourself and have a fantastic learning thank you so much for watching bye bye